recently had a day in the sun. I had a newspaper article and two newsettes on Fox 6, which is in Milwaukee, Channel 6. But the greatest thing about that day in the sun, which is now over, and nobody's talking about the Scrouse anymore, although I was in a movie theater yesterday, I'm proud to say I was recognized. People come up and say, hey, I saw your movie. And I'm like, whoa, which one? Because, you know, there's 40-some episodes of Scrouse Speaks you listen, and they're like, the wheel! It's not my movie. I was only in it. But anyway, once or twice I was recognized for that. But I'm more often recognized as the guy who put the statue in front of the bronze freaking piece of bronze. Best part of that whole situation is this news article in the Milwaukee Local. Headline one. Clock to tick on assembly. Okay, well, I'm glad they get their watches in order. Number two. Hot doggers find a job they relish. <laughs> so punny. It's about the Wienermobile. Two pictures for the Wienermobile. And then on the bottom... Artist puts up pal for bronze fonds and then takes it back. Yeah, there it is. It's a guy in the middle there. Nobody knows who that is. Article written by this guy. So, I got to share news space with the Wienermobile. How many of you artists can do that? Motherfuckers. culture on the local distinctions have been co-opted and liquefied and sold to the lowest bidder. No more local color, it was gone. Until I realized Milwaukee retains its local half-assery. I used to think Milwaukee half-assery was a liability, cave dweller, but it's not. Even though every step we take into mass media is an uncanny, off-kilter disruption of media convention. This alienates consumers who are trained by the hosts to believe what they should like and what they shouldn't like and they identify with that, they make media their identity. You, you contradict media conventions, you're contradicting somebody's identity and they hate Coast that. bastard. All the same. The most popular vloggers on YouTube, Ray Williams Johnson, Niga Higa, Ask Chasm, time their jokes with a metronome. Their jokes are more efficient than a drum roll rim shot cave dweller. No, you can set your watch by their jokes. They become experts in media conventions. Dictated to us by, need I say again, the coasts. How Niga Higa started, he was pretty good. His first vlog was nice, but then his slickness buried his creativity. Let's not make that mistake, Milwaukee. Let's follow the example of Ryan Plato. 